So if you're a video creator, one of the first things any person should know how to do, especially in a Premiere Pro, is create a sequence. And if you do not know how to properly create a sequence, this can completely mess up your video. So I'm going to jump into Adobe Premiere and I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. So one of the easiest ways of how you do a sequence is the automatic detection way. So you have your video clip right here. All you got to do is click, hold, drag that all the way here. And as you can see, drop media here to create sequence. Bam, let that go. And as you can see now, you just create your very own sequence automatically without needing to know whatever the sequence, the dimensions are, whatever it is. But let's say you don't want to do that method, right? And I uh, just click delete here right click the clip, go into properties. So here is where you can see all the info about your video clip that you just have within your project settings. It is a MPEG movie. It is the image size, the frame rate and all that, right? Sortio, the audio source format, all that fun stuff. So as you can see, the pixel aspect ratio is one, which will come in handy a little after. Okay, let's say you don't want to do the easy way. You want to do the complicated way. So you go into sequence, new settings, and I automatically go to a DSLR right here, 10, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Usually all this is default. Go into your custom settings. It's already set at DSLR. Your frame, this is your frame rate. You filmed in 30 frames per second. It is 29.97. You filmed in 60, you want to click 60. You filmed in 24, 23.976, you want to click that. And then this is where the Pixel aspect ratio is usually 1.0. Don't really have to worry about this stuff. You want to just click OK. And there, you just create your own sequence. Drag and drop that video into the sequence, and it should match that exactly. Here's me making pasta. So for the most part, what I usually do as a video editor is I have a bunch of raw clips. What I do is drag that over here. Bam. Adobe does all that stuff to text, the audio, whatever, all the tracks. And I just double click here, rename, rename this main sequence so just so i know so I, it doesn't get too messy and that is my working video editing sequence and as you can see that is how i do it but yes you can get really complicated and if you want to change these sequence you can also go to sequence settings right there don't be afraid if you click ok you can always make mistakes and change it right here change the custom frame size the frame rate the horizontal width and that is how you easily create a new Adobe Premiere Pro sequence, even if you have no experience and you just opened this up for the very first time. But it is a good reminder to know that, yes, you know, you can have different sequence settings and don't be afraid of creating other settings, right? Don't be afraid to use all this. Let's say if you want to film this in 4K, I keep it the settings exact same. All you want to do is go into click custom here, 3840 by 2160. That is your 4K dimension, just to make sure it's 16 by 9. This is locked in. All these audio aspects are as is. Click OK. And you just created your own 4K sequence setting. Keep existing settings, as you see. It's a 4K file. And that is how you create your own settings. But let's say you want to change it, right? Right click, sequence settings. You can change all this. But for the most part, all I do is drag and drop. Create my sequence right there. Bam, here is my Adobe Premiere Pro sequence. And let's say I want to keep and create another sequence with that exact frame size. What I want to do is I go into the sequence settings, delete all this, too much going on. And then I can actually rename it, right? So double click here, main sequence. And I want to create a second B-roll sequence. What I want to do is right click, duplicate that. And I just I made a copy of all of those exact same sequence so you don't have to redo it again. And now you can do your own magic. And if you want to get serious about learning the best tips and editing tricks, I have all the resources in the description below as well as the comments. So you too can also edit on Premiere Pro even if you're a complete beginner. If this video has helped you, smash that thumbs up. And my name is Peter where I help you become a content creator. And if you're really serious about jumping on Adobe Premiere, I do have a code, link in the description below. Check that link out where you can actually get your own trial and get started within Premiere Pro. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, and we all serve nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys. <laughs>